Hello all, this is Tornado and today we're going to be discussing Thanos in the Ultima 7 Raid. I know what you're thinking, I'm crazy, why are you doing this? Thanos hasn't been meta since Ultima 6 in Raids, just stop it. Well, I've tried it out today and it actually worked fairly well. Um, I'll look go through, through the team that I have and the team that I would probably suggest flipping up to. Um, there's a couple characters there that I kind of think should be switched around. But first of all, Thanos. So, for those who don't know, the Ultima 7 Ray is actually very different now to when it actually initially launched. These are the stat differences. You can see here that they get plus 20% health plus 40% damage on difficulty 1. Now difficulty 1 is what I'm at, difficulty 2 is the one that I've tried, we got up to about 70% 70, 70 or something like that. Personally I got my ass kicked by it, but you can also notice here that this is 100% resistance here on difficulty 2, 20% resistance on difficulty 1. So difficulty 1 is about where I think a lot of people are going to be sitting at the moment. Difficulty 2, even our biggest whales were getting kind of stomped there. Um, it's going to be difficult to get like 100% difficulty 2. I'm sure that there's some of the big name like Pants of Hulk and Legion of Cabal that are going to get it. But for now, I think Legion of uh, Difficulty 1 is about where most people are going to be sitting if they want 100%, if not 60% of Difficulty 2. But Difficulty 1 will get you more rewards if you 100% it than Difficulty 2 at 60%. But here you'll notice the damage goes up to 40%, but the health is only 20%. So that means a lot of the enemies in here are glass cannons. Essentially meaning that they're going to deal a lot of damage, but their health is actually reduced a lot by just... It being, they're just going to have a lot less health than initially when you went into Ultima 7 before. However, the damage is slightly up in difficulty 1. So that means that characters who thrive on killing characters, or uh, manipulating characters, like using deaths of characters are going to be a lot better in this game mode, which is why I think Thanos might make a comeback here. Now, personally, I used it. I'll show you a video before I beat the Star Lord node with it, like the Star Lord boss node, the second mini boss. Um, and I think I can continue on further. I haven't got around to it yet, ran out of energy. But this, let's just go through as to why I think these guys are going to be good. So, mostly the big part of that, this is Thanos' passive. Anytime an enemy dies, he's going to be generating ability energy, which means you can just keep pumping any cosmic characters that are next to him with ability energy, which is just going to be crazy. He also has a really good resistance, which is great when you have characters who are either debuffing your own team like scientist supreme or enemy characters who are going to be debuffing now keep in mind one of the other issues that's going to be happening especially when you get up to like difficulty two is this thousand percent uh, sorry hundred percent resistance that means characters like yo-yo without being built up super heavy or without having like the tier four and her passive and stuff you're going to have problems landing that offense down but Thanos doesn't really have that problem. Yes, he's got the offense down here, but he doesn't rely on it for his actual tanking abilities. His tanking abilities are just having a massive health pool, um, which is really good and it's going to be super helpful. And then he also has this massive resistance to resist this focus that they get here. Now the character next to him is obviously going to be Black Bolt. Black Bolt's going to be insane in this, and that's who I used, um, just because he's going to be pumping out so much damage. This attacking all enemies for 500%, uh, sorry, 500% damage is just going to be crazy, and he's going to have that up a lot more because you've got Thanos next to him. His special is really good, even his basic is decent, though hopefully you're just being able to use this special and ultimate to just continue on. And then he's also got the fact that he's going to disrupt any summoners, so if there's any summoners on the enemy team. And the big part about his kit is whenever a character drops a low, he's going to then attack them. Now between his ultimate and Thanos' ultimate, that's a lot of AoE damage. Now, these are some of these are the characters that I used, but I'll talk about the characters that I would suggest instead. Ultron I used. The issue with Ultron is that he's slow, but even then you're going to be summoning the minions that are going to be able to take hits. You're going to be also having this ultimate, which is just a single target nuke um, and ability energy for himself, which is good because it means that he can continue running on. Then you've got Shuri here. Shuri is going to be 
basically your defense up Hall. She's going to be giving defense up to Thanos, which is one thing that Thanos is actually missing from his cat kit. He's just going to be needing that defense up. That's going to be super big because it means that he's going to be able to continue tanking as in his existing kit only. He, the only thing he has is taunt. He needs that defense up to be able to actually do that. Then she's also going to be generating ability energy, which means even more ability energy into like Black Bolt or even into Thanos. Then she's going to be healing as well. And the best part about her kit is this um, here. When ever an ally drops below 50% health, she's going to give them deflex, which is great for being able to protect your Thanos, protect your Black Bolt, protect your Ultron if you're using them as well. Then the last character that I used was Minerva, mostly for her healing. Now the issue that Shuri has is that she's not an insanely good healer. She's a really good support character, but not really an insanely good healer. It's just the opposite of Minerva. Minerva's a really good healer, but not a really good support character. Because she, all, she doesn't do any defense. Up. The only thing that she does is with her ultimate, she will apply the uh, deflex to Kree allies. But you don't have any Kree allies except for her. And she's got the res, which is really good as well. But what I'm probably suggesting instead of those two would be Ebony Moore to start with. Ebony Moore next to Thanos. So you've got Thanos, Black Bolt, and Ebony Moore all next to each other. Thanos feeding energy into Moore into Black Bolt. Because that way uh, Ebony can do the defense up, can do the offense down as well, and the counter and removing the counters which means he's going to be insanely good for basically going to be able to replace Minerva uh, sorry replace Shuri as long as he's next to Thanos so that way he's getting the energy because the biggest issue with Ebony Moore is that he has long cooldowns his cooldowns are like five and what's this seven compared to Shuri who's a four and four Minerva's about the same as him so Ebony Moore's cooldowns are really good. He's going to apply the slow, which is going to be really good. He's going to fill speed bar and steal speed bar. And, sorry, fill speed bar and reduce speed bar. And then he's also going to be redistributing that health to um, heal up his team. But the defense up, the counter, the offense down are all going to be super helpful. Then on spawn, he's going to chuck a whole lot of buffs onto Thanos, ensuring that Thanos is going to be able to survive for longer. And he's also going to give speed bar to Thanos as well. Now, I believe the speed bar would just be 25% because Thanos obviously doesn't count as a black border ally. He doesn't have the, um, the thing. Um, now, the other thing is that he's going to give Thanos more resistance, give himself resistance, and also give um, uh, any time a hero controller dies, he's going to be able to um, give himself immunity, give barrier his team and everything like that. So any nodes that have like star lord in them um, are going to be really helpful for that um, like characters like star lord um, then as the final member um, i think scientist supreme is going to be really good for this because she's going to be able to give you back that chance to res that you'd be losing from not using minerva and flipping the debuffs on your team as Ebony Moore doesn't exactly deal with debuffs same as Minerva and Shuri don't really deal with debuffs Scientist Supreme is the best character to deal with them she's also going to chuck up these negative effects but the good thing is that because you've got Thanos Thanos is going to resist the negative effects most likely um, which means you don't have to worry about like your tank getting defense downed or anything like that. You can continue just tanking away. But the enemy are all going to be offense down because between Ebony Moore applying the offense down with his special and Scientist Supreme applying offense down with her um, ultimate here, you're just going to have constant offense down. Then she's also going to have that chance to respawn, uh, to resurrect people um, whenever they die on her turn for 25%. So what I'm suggesting is Thanos, Black Bolt, Ebony Moore, Scientist Supreme. And for the last one, for Ultron, I'm not entirely sure as to who to replace. I think there's a number of different characters you could put in there. Um, even like having Shuri alongside there. So you've just got kind of three healers. Um, wouldn't be too bad, especially because Ebony Moore does percent based damage. You've got Black Bolt and Thanos to be able to deal more damage. Um, having um, Shuri here to kind of continue it on wouldn't be too bad. You could do um, like 
uh, symbiote Spider-Man, um, any kind of big damage dealer would be helpful as well, especially ones that kind of manipulate based on debuffs, so like Spider-Man, um, I might even try Graviton once I get my Ebony Maw, um, just because my Graviton 6 Red Star, um, more debuffs, controlling more debuffs, extending the slows from Ebony Maw, that actually sounds insanely good. That's really, really sounding really good. Um, but basically, like another damage dealer as your fifth here uh, would be a good idea. Um, even like Hella would be a great idea as well. Um, but those are the kind of the characters that I would suggest. But as I said, the ones that I ran for my initial test run were Thanos, Black Bolt, um, Ultron, Minerva, and Shuri. Now we'll flip over to VLC here. Um, I'll start it at the start just to make sure that you guys see the whole thing. Here we go. Alright, so this is the way I did it. Now at the start of the node, I made sure that I just wanted to make sure that I got these Ultron bots out first because my Ultron has a nasty habit of just using his ultimate straight away and then he has no buffs, so he's getting no ability energy. Um, and then I decided to kind of like single. Um, run it myself because I just wanted to make sure that I kind of won um, especially because that node is a bit on the harder the harder side there now there Ultron's just getting himself more energy Shuri's chucking out the defense up which means our um, Thanos can continue living now my Thanos is gear 14 here I think Shuri's a good fifth here just for these um, deflex up as well Now you'll be able to see here when we start killing people we're going to be starting to get energy and we're getting the healing from Minerva as well. Now that's another thing that's not going to be too bad um, as another fifth character Minerva. You can see here every time my Thanos uses his ultimate he basically full heals himself because he's getting drain on that, gets 100% drain on that as well. Um, the good thing is if you've got Ebony Moore here, Ebony Moore is then going to be giving him um, death proof, immunity and stuff on spawn and regions on spawn as well, um, which is going to be great. Well, not on spawn, on Thanos' first turn he gets it. So even then, if your Thanos has taken damage before the first turn, then he has the regions up. Or before his second turn, I guess. And here you can see that I'm just being able to just continue using the cooldowns on Black Bolt and it's just going really well now I'm suggesting this is probably I'm not sure how well this is going to work at difficulty um, 2 uh, obviously I'm not particularly fond of trying it at the moment because I we're not running it because of how insanely difficult it is the massive ramp up in damage you go up like 40% in damage but only 20% in health but Having someone like Symbiote Spider-Man, Ebony Moore and stuff like that just giving you more control means that you're being able to manipulate and kill the enemies faster before they actually get turns. Um, so focusing on having high damaging characters like Black Bolt there is going to be super helpful. Now you can see here I'm not exactly getting low or anything like that. We're going pretty fine. And the ultimate from Thanos combined with the ultimate from Black Bolt is just insanely good because you're just getting constant full healing, constant AOE damage and you're just being able to kind of manipulate, um, just kill them off before they can actually do much here. Another reason that um, Minerva might actually be great in this is because it's another character who kind of utilizes deaths as well. You can see how just how much healing she's kind of pumping out here. Um, I might try switching Thanos into the middle, having Minerva, Minerva next to him and Black Bolt next to him. But there, you can see it worked really well. And um, you can see kind of why Thanos is so great in this because being able to just pump Black Bolt full of energy is super helpful. It's kind of like the old BKT team, but like a, a mix up on it because obviously Rocket's a bit too squishy. Um, and Starlord's not super helpful. Groot's not super helpful. So it's kind of like a new BKT. Um, I don't know entirely what it's going to end up being called if it ends up taking off, but Thanos combined with Black Bolt's insanely good. Then you can chuck in like Ebony Moore in here as well. He's going to be really, really good on this team. Um, 
and being able to like steal this health and everything like that. Uh, Scientist Supreme to be able to kind of flip those buffs, flip any debuffs that are on your team and continue on that. And then for the fifth, you've got like Shuri, Minerva, uh, what's his name? Symbiote Spider-Man. Um, any kind of character that's kind of either going to be able to manipulate those debuffs, do stuff when characters die. Like you could even put in like Venom and uh, sorry, Carnage and Symbiote Spider-Man, um, and then you can just kind of use Thanos and Black Bolt to kind of keep them going kind of thing. The Symbiotes are going to be huge in this, I think, just because of the characters having, again, lower health and um, higher damage. It means that you can kind of go off of that. But anyway, that's it for today. Um, I'd love to know if you guys try out Thanos in the new Ultima 7. Um, new Ultima 7 seems really interesting in the way that it's just designed. The fact that they are all like glass cannons. They deal a lot of damage but have less health. But anyway, that's it for today. I hope you guys had a great day and goodbye. <laughs>